Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick DIY um, farmhouse sign uh, for your kitchen. So I have a sign here that I got from a friend of mine a few years back and I decided I wanted to do something different with it. So um, what I'm going to do here is, and this is the uh, Waverly chalk paint in white. And um, I'm taking one of these uh, foam brushes that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to give it, uh, I was pouring it on there, I'm just going to give it uh, three coats um, and let it dry in between each coat. Um, my chalk paint was almost gone, so <laughs> you see me pouring. I had to tip it upside down and pour it out, but. Uh, I had enough to do this and I still have a little bit left over I might be able to do another project with. But you can find the Waverly chalk paint at Walmart. This is the small 8 ounce bottle. Um, I purchased it for, I believe it was less than $3. These are letters that I had my daughter make for me on the computer using Microsoft Word. I'm going to cut them out. Uh, you can easily go to Google and print off letters uh, if you choose to. Okay, here I'm just using a yardstick. I'm trying to find the center of the board. Uh, I'm going to center the C, so I'm just going to use um, the yardstick, and this is a colored pencil. Uh, I just want to get the letters to where they're even, and I don't have a letter that's going crooked or I don't want to get a letter that's too high or too low. Um, you don't have to do it this way. If you have stencils, you can use that. Um, if you can freehand it, that would be amazing. I wished I could freehand it, but I'm too shaky. Um, just any, any kind of technique. If, even if you have a maybe a cricket or a silhouette, you could print off the, the final letters and put them on here. That would be nice. Um, and here, like I said, I'm just making sure the letters are even. Okay, once you have all the letters taped into place, you're just going to trace around them. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, just do the best that you can. Once you get all the letters traced, you're just going to go ahead and, and uh, take them off the sign. Okay, we're going to take the Painter's Brand Paint Pen in the color black. I got this at Walmart. Uh, the Apple Barrel Paint and also in black. I also got from Walmart. This is just an old paintbrush that I had and these are some paintbrushes I bought from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I tried to use this bigger paintbrush, but it was just too big for my letters. My, le my letters were um, a little bit too narrow. So I switched and I grabbed one of the paintbrushes out of the um, pack that I bought at the Dollar Tree. And this one was a little bit too big for what I needed. So I decided to go ahead and switch and get a smaller size and um, it worked okay. Uh, I would say if you're gonna be doing a lot of painting uh, as far as detail work, these probably aren't the best brushes to use. Um, they are super, super soft. So uh, trying to 
paint in these letters, um, I think a stiffer brush would have been better. And also with these brushes from the Dollar Tree, um, they had a lot of, uh, the bristles were longer than others. So I had to use my scissors and go in and try to trim some of them off. But other than that, I mean, they're pretty good. You know, for the price, it's not bad at all. Okay, so now I'm going to use the paint pen and go around each of the letters to try to uh, just kind of clean it up a little bit. Um, but what I did find is using this paint marker, it's uh, one of the jumbo ones. And um, I think that the uh, smaller, the thinner paint markers that they have would probably be better for this. Just because the tip of this was so wide it was really hard to get it, um, to get clean lines from it. So, um, yeah, if you're going to go out and do this, I would probably get the thinner paint marker. But, um, this turned out just fine. Uh, I like it. It's not perfect, but, you know, that's okay. Okay, so here is the finished product. Like I said, it's not perfect, but I love it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little DIY. That's what it looks like above my kitchen door. Thank you for watching. Bye.